with that being said, man, I do want to thank you guys for being open, honest, and uh, vulnerable tonight, like being transparent. I appreciate y'all, man, for the sh stories that y'all share. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we have these conversations for information. There's individuals that have not yet gone through things that we have gone through as individuals. So when we speak from the mindset of I wish I knew then what I know now, wow. I would have done a lot of things better. You know, so that's why we're coming from this perspective when we try to get y'all these little games. So we're going to transition right now to the gems of the night. Uh, we're going to start it out with Sister Nisha. Sister Nisha, the floor is yours. Um, First, I want to say thank you for everybody that's watching. Remember that we do have a YouTube channel, Youth Believe, right? Believe TV um, Productions. <laughs> subscribe, like, you know, comment, you know, and share. Um, what I, the gym that I have is if you are in a relationship, um, study your partner, you know, it's always good to, um, study before you take a test. For sure. Yeah. That's it. Queen, that's. Okay, my gym is don't act like you're happy when you're not. Yeah. I've real. been in that situation and yes. it sucks being the person thinking you're doing a good job just to find out you weren't <laughs> because of lack of communication. So. You know, you might think somebody doesn't love you because they do this or they don't do that, but they're, they're thinking you like it because you never complained about it and you seem to be okay or whatever. So they're going to keep doing it, you know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, I'm loving my man. and then But you in the background saying, oh, why does she keep doing this if she truly loved me? You get what I'm saying? So I've learned myself, too, to communicate better. So it goes both ways, but don't act like you're happy when you're not. For sure, for sure. Sister yeah. Marie? It goes to what... Um Esther said, don't act like you're happy if you're not communicate. Like, I don't care YouTube if channel. men and women communicate. Because if you don't tell me something, I might know not know. Especially if you're showing that you're not showing that you're not happy or you're pretending like everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Communicate. At least you know you spoke what you're not happy about. And whatever the situation, whatever, however the person chose to act, then, then define your decision. That mm -hmm. you know you communicated and you don't care about it. And... I agree with left from the beginning, <laughs> but yeah, don't listen. It didn't look like it. <laughs> yeah. From the beginning. Care what's up? <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to that. You had to make sure. Um, <laughs> my little gem for the day: if um if if people in relationships uh, try not to um have secrets, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If you if you plan on being with your people for however long y'all want to be with each other. Try to let them know everything. I'm saying the people that you're going to be there with forever. That's going to make the communication better because they're going to know your secrets and all that stuff like that. For sure. And um, the social media aspect, just don't let that control your relationship. Why you took my, you took my gym? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's all point sometimes. But, yeah, don't let, don't let that control your life and your relationship you feel what i'm trying to tell you and communication is key even though it may be difficult mm -hmm. yep. at yeah, least cool. try to communicate you yeah, know what yeah. i'm saying because like they say closed mouth don't get fed so well, if they don't know sure. they can't react mm -hmm. exactly that's my job uh my job for tonight is know who you are i think right. um a lot of people have a hard time knowing who they are people don't know their identity uh, they're trying to find their identity in different places. Sure. Uh, whether if it's through, like, you know, horoscopes or um, what you call it, man, uh, celebrities or athletes. Like, they don't know who they are. And they wake up. They don't know if they're here. Like, they just feel like they're just existing, but they're not living. Mm -hmm. So my advice to everybody out there, like, if you really want to know who you are, like, open up the Word of God. You know what I'm saying? Seek the Scriptures, man, and see what, and see what Christ says about you rather than what the world says. And I think it's important to know that you know when you know that for yourself nobody can take that away from you sure. like whether if you're at work whether if you're at the job uh, you know what i'm saying doing something or whether if you're at uh what you call it school or uh, whether if you're in church wherever you are you know when you know who you are in christ can nobody take that away from you because at the end of the day you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like his word is his word is yes and amen and um i think a lot of people are dealing with that identity issue because they don't know who they are you know, they try to tap into things that gets them, in, you know, incarcerated within mm. themselves. Mm. You know, things that they should have not be open. And when you sure. open up these channels and doors, you know, now you, you can't sleep at night because you're dealing with certain spirits mm. that, you are, that you invited in that you didn't even know. But when you know who you are in Christ, you know what I'm saying, you're solidified. 
You know what I'm saying? You know that at the end of the day, he has a final say-so. You know that at the end of the day, he is God on the throne. You know that at the end of the day, that, you know what I'm saying, he loved you before you was in your mother's womb. And that's something that's beautiful. Even if somebody takes the Bible away from you physically, they can't take that away from you at all because he said that in your heart. So that's my gem. 1,000. Sister Anne? Um, my little gem for tonight was stolen, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just repeat <laughs> um, I would say do not let social media be the hallmark of your relationship. Um, don't let other people's relationship be your relationship goals because social media and reality are two different things and um i would say also don't judge someone by the amount of followers they have like they don't know these people they probably know like five or ten of them so get to know someone for who they are before you judge them for who follows them and yeah amen for sure for sure amen so queen esther can you say a prayer for us to end out the night Oh, God, thank you for this conversation tonight. I'm sure we all learned a lot from each other, and we learned how important it is to communicate with each other. But one thing we have to remember is to communicate with you. I and know. although you know everything know. about us, you can't work with what we try not to talk to you about. So as we go on with our week, you know, continue to minister to us and encourage us and guide us. Help us to see you as you try to communicate with us. Help us get home safely. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 amen.